Hi, this is Professor LaPuma of the New Jersey Institute of Technology recording for my technical communications class with material drawn from my text, Fundamentals of Undergraduate Education and Learning. We're going to be talking about dealing with uncertainty, and this furthers the discussion of decision making and the idea of moving from data to information to knowledge. So let's start with what is uncertainty. For us, it's the idea that there's some lack of knowledge of the future that might lead to more than one possible outcome. And usually uncertainty is an important part in making decisions both at understanding the options you have and the choices you'll make. With the discussion of data information and knowledge, a lot of times each one of those steps in which there's a person thinking adds uncertainty to the outcome such that your knowledge isn't as certain as you might like it to be. For us, it's important to realize that uncertainty isn't necessarily a bad thing because no one can absolutely predict the future, and so there's always some uncertainty. For many people, what they're really trying to do is reduce the level of uncertainty. Now, the next term that we want to discuss in this process is the idea of risk, or the idea that uh, there's a possibility that something you're investing to attain a goal can be lost. And the more uncertainty there is, the more risk that you might lose something occurs. So the more you invest, the bigger there is the potential to lose. And so many people try to balance the idea of uncertainty with risk as they're making decisions. Now the last thing we want to talk about is this idea of probability. Probability is the measure of the likelihood of an attempt resulting in a specified outcome. And there's a whole area of statistics dealing with this such that you understand what is more or less likely in an uncertain situation. If every time you did something you knew exactly what would happen, then the uncertainty is zero and the probability is 100. For us, however, as I said, the idea here is that you're trying to increase the likelihood of a favorable outcome when you create your package such that it meets the needs of your target in that situation so that you can accomplish your goal. Now, one of the things we want to talk about is the idea that as you're looking at uncertainty, you really have to think about your parameters and your assumptions because parameters are the boundaries of the situation. And many times, the uncertainty and the risk and the probability of different outcomes relates to those boundaries or the things that limit your particular situation that you've identified. On the other hand, we also have to consider assumptions. And these are the limits that you place upon the situation that may or may not be true. Oftentimes, we need assumptions to narrow the scope of what we're doing. And so, as long as you're clear about these assumptions, you can understand the risk and the uncertainty. Because the idea here is that with an assumption, you can change it so that if the outcome that you're attaining in the goal is not what you want, then you can go back and adjust your assumptions if you find them to not be true. However, oftentimes you cannot adjust your parameters. Now, in the end, there's also a third measure, and this is the idea of criteria. Whereas parameters and assumptions deal with the world you're sitting in, criteria deal with the idea that you are measuring or judging. And the idea is that these measures are what you use to determine the path that you'd like to take, what is better from worse, what is to be attained versus to be avoided. And so as we think about these things, parameters, assumptions, and criteria, they help us better set out the situation so that we have a clearer picture of what's going on so we can determine uncertainty, risk, and probability. Thank you.